hey guys welcome again to my youtube channel this is anywhere roommate content queen if you're new here it is so nice to meet you before you leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel hey guys welcome to my tutorial video on how to use telegram to host your online courses so this video is really going to be beneficial to freelancers who want to um start a coaching business and do not want to pay exorbitant fees to online course hosting platforms and it's also going to be beneficial to business owners who are trying to start taking online courses and just want to try their hands on something really easy so telegram is an app that is available on um google play store and apple app store so you can just download it and there's also the desktop version so the desktop version works basically the same way as the app works and i'm going to be showing you how you can host your online courses using telegram and telegram telegram group to be specific so on telegram there is um telegram channel and then there's telegram group now with a channel you cannot do as much things as you would do in a group and if you were to have a channel you would still need a group if you want your channel to be an interactive space so people cannot the members of your channel or the subscribers to your telegram channel cannot communicate in your channel but if you have a group that is linked to that channel then whenever you post something on your channel and you want them to you know respond to you they can always do that with the telegram group that is connected to your channel but to host your online courses on telegram you have to have a telegram group and it's pretty easy so what you need to do if you don't have telegram app you just download the app um telegram is available like i said on google play store and apple app store or you get the desktop version you sign up you put your phone number and um the rest is history so when you want to create a group you need to have someone in the group so um this group is already created it's called skill up with book me it's a training room where, where i host my online courses for my other business called book me so this group has been created already now once you've created a group the next thing you need to do is to fix the settings you know that's the only way to host your online courses because the essence of hosting your online course on a cost hosting platform is so that people who want to take your courses especially if they are paid courses they won't have access to your course and then begin to share it to other people you want that privacy factor to be there but if you were to give your course out for free then really you don't really have to do all these settings but it is really important if you want to host a paid class and you want people to pay join your class and not have the liberty to share to other people so you can get as many people to sign up for your courses so once you've created a telegram group now let's go to the settings this is where it's really important now i'm currently here in the group and i'm the only member here because i've not added those who i'm supposed to train yet but let's set set up this space first so you tap this button here and then it opens and then you see um the name of your group everything is showing here and then you click on edit okay so it's going to ask you for the name of your group which is already done i've already typed in mine then you put in the description there's a word limit you just have to follow that then i would walk you through the other functionalities in this group now you have group type when you click on group type you see private and you see public now if your group is public it means if anyone searches for that group using the name of the group they can easily find it on telegram even if they don't have the link to the group so if for instance you've been advertising your group and then you want to make it public and um anybody has the name and they just search for it they can easily find your group on telegram but if it's private it means that if you search for your group they won't be able to find it the only way they can find your group is if you give them the link to join your group all right so you can see private groups can only be joined if you were invited or have an invite link public groups can be found in a search 
chat history is available to everyone and anybody can join in so if you um if you have a free course you can make your group public but if it's paid i'll advise that you go for the private and another good thing about telegram is you can restrict saving content even if you have a public group so what this does for you is members in your group won't be able to copy save or forward content from your group now it's really important because especially if your courses are basically audio or maybe you are sharing an ebook or it's even a video course it's really important to activate restrict saving content i remember one class i had that was i think last year i was a class on content marketing and one of my students um was writing her first book and she asked that i you know put her through the writing process and when she turned in the first draft to me i saw that a major part of her book had what i had taught them in class like it's just like she she copied from the group from the telegram group where the class was held and she just pasted them in microsoft Word to form part of her book and i felt really bad seeing that so if you are a course creator or a tutor or trainer you want to activate restrict saving content okay so i'm going to make this group private because it's actually a private class and then um you see here share link this is the link to your group so when you tap on these three dots you can copy the link or get the qr code or even revoke the link as you wish and you would see that nobody has joined yet because i actually haven't sent the links out now i've also activated the restrict saving contents because i don't want anyone to save the content from this training it's really really important if you ask me this is the most important part like this is just the game changer for you if this is why you can even host your courses on telegram this particular feature of restricting um content saving like this is why this is the only reason why i think or this is the only reason why in my opinion telegram is like the next best thing for you if you don't want to use any learning management system out there you don't want to pay any amount to any learning management system and this is also one of the reasons why i i feel um telegram is a lot better than whatsapp because whatsapp does not have this feature there are so so many things you can do with telegram and i'm going to be showing you, you in another video but for this particular video i just want to show you how restrict saving content is the game changer and how it helps you host your online courses on telegram so please if you are still watching this video and you've not liked my video or you've not shared it to your fellow course creator friends or freelancer friends and you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so and i promise to come up with more amazing content that i know will be helpful to you and your business so like i said in my next video i'm going to be showing you more functionalities on telegram and how you can use telegram to have a um to create a wonderful learning network learning experience for your students so once you've re activated restrict saving content another thing i want to show you is manage invite links so when you click on manage invite links now this helps you to create additional links so say for instance you have an automated payment system um you're using one of the payment systems out there and you once people pay you for your course they are automatically redirected to you, you know the platform so in this case it would be telegram now you can copy this link here fix it in the payment platform you are using so anyone who pays will get automatically redirected to your group however if there are people who find it difficult with online payments and they want to pay straight to your bank account what you can do is to create a new type of link for those sets of people and i'll explain why now if you share this link that is already available here with those people um there's every possibility that they would pass the link on to their friends and to other people who have not paid for your course and in the next step i'm going to be showing you how you can also manage that how you can stop that from happening like people who haven't paid for your courses how you can stop them from entering your training group okay but this is how to manage it effectively so what you want to do is to create a new link now you, um, you can just put anything i'll just name this one manual payment 
so that's for those who are paying straight to bank account and then like i said i was going to tell you how you can manage that effectively this is the best game changer if you ask me and then you click on request admin approval now with request admin approval you have changed the game so even if you anybody pays for your um course or your training they pay to your bank account straight and then you want to give them a link remember you can't give them that general link because that general link does not have this request admin approval functionality it doesn't have so anybody who has that link can just join in your group and you don't want that you honestly don't want that you want to automate your system as much as possible to reduce work workload stress for you okay so when you create a new type of link and then you click request admin approval it means that anybody who wants to join your group will have to request your approval so say for instance in a day 20 people pay for your um course or your training and then you have all their details you have their records and then you are seeing like 25 people are not sending you requests to join your group of course you know that something is wrong somewhere when only 20 people paid so with that you can ask those 20 people who paid to you know give you they are tell you that telegram name whatever method you want to use but of course they would tell you the, their name on telegram and when you see that the name rhymes with what they told you then you can just you know accept them into your group now you can also do this in a way that you you um can limit this link for a certain period it could be one hour it could be one day one week no limit or just leave it the way it is um Okay, so I'm also trying to show you some other things there. So I'm going to click on it and edit it so that you can see everything there. And then uh, you can, you know, revoke link. So if you remove request admin approval, you can see how many users you can limit it to. There's no limit, um, number of uses, number of people who can use it. But I prefer that you click on request admin approval to avoid any issues and then you save it once it's saved you can also share the link or you just come here copy or get the qr code and you are done like it's it's that simple so it will even show you the records so let's go back to um the host settings so be fixed on invite links now you can see that there's one invite link here which is an additional link okay and then your chat history now this is really important because there are people who would join your group months later or days later and you just like whatsapp is really really annoying when you are a whatsapp group admin and you have information to pass across and probably you've already sent out the information and then people later join so you have to copy and paste again and then those who had joined the group earlier will keep on seeing those same messages over and over again like it gets really annoying so so that's why i said this is one of the things that makes telegram way way better than whatsapp like i don't know why people are still sleeping on telegram so if you make your chat history visible then you can see that every other person anybody who joins your group whenever one month later one year later they'll be able to see all the chats that has been dropped in the group they'll be able to see every single thing and it really saves you a lot of stress as an admin all right so that's that um i'm still going to click on edit and then we have um chat history is visible we have just one member and then you have administrators so just like how you have whatsapp admins if you have people in your group it will show you the people here and then you can just click add and add admin so if you have if you want to add an admin it will list out all the people in your group and just select one person um recent actions it will also show you every single thing that has been happening with your members with your admins and everything that has been going on it really helps you to you know keep track of what is going on and then you can set your profile picture or you set a video like it's it's that amazing like you could just have a short 30 seconds or 60 seconds intro video and just upload it there like it's telegram is mind blowing i don't know why people are still sleeping on telegram it's really crazy okay so when you have permissions this is also really 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 important and i i feel like because of this permission functionality here um i feel like telegram group is actually better than telegram channel 
because you what once you're trying to prevent in a channel aka people sending messages to you um you can actually do that here so you can create your permissions what do you want people to do the people in your group what do you want them to do okay so you could set as many restrictions as possible and then you can also dictate like how fast you want those messages to come in you you get so you can choose how long each member must wait before sending their messages so if you have a lot of people in, in your group and you don't want to be overwhelmed by messages especially maybe during question and answer time you can just set it down to 10 seconds or to one minute if you um feel like oh okay i will be able to answer this person's question in a minute but you you should warn them beforehand so that they know this is what is happening okay and then you can add exceptions to um to this if you don't want if you want to you know you have certain exceptions you want to um exclude someone or people preferably your admins from this um restriction with your permissions then you can do that also um so yes so with a telegram group you can also um okay in my next video i'm going to show you how to share your screen um if you have a live training or you want to have a live audio session just like you have in um clubhouse yeah you can do that with telegram or you can go live like video or you could share your screen it's it can be done with telegram okay so i'm going to show you that much later and here's the last thing i want you to see before i leave this video so for instance i just type hi guys welcome welcome to your training and i want everyone who joins this group to see this message and like let it be the first thing that they see what you need to do you type your message you send it you pull down the button and then just like how we have on facebook there are so many reactions there and then you can now choose to pin your message so you pin and notify members or you only pin so you also click pin and notify it's already pinned at the top here so when you tap on this it just goes straight to the message so no matter how many messages you have if you have important announcements you can always tell your group members hey guys check the pinned message for all the information you need so this is the end of this tutorial video on how you can use telegram to host your online courses how you can set your telegram group you know fix in your settings that will help you host the telegram group effectively if you still haven't liked this video please don't break my heart like my video share with your friends comment um let me know what you want me to create for you the next tutorial you want to see from me share my video and subscribe to my youtube channel like i said in my next video i'm going to be showing you how you can do more live trainings with telegram this video is just all about teaching you how to set up your telegram group to host your online courses my next video is going to teach you how you can go live you know the different teaching methods you can have on telegram until i come your way next time bye thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel also let me know what you want to learn from me next in the comments